Peter Rossi here, Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel, and we are at the Roma Street Parklands, 23rd of September 2021, and immediately behind me is Greg John's Continuous Division. And I've come in to do a little bit of recording, as you're going to see in a second, because tomorrow uh, I'm down the Gold Coast, hopefully meeting up with John McGregor, former chair, to have a look at how the Gold Coast has treated some of its Expo 88 artwork. So it's good to see that someone, um, and it doesn't have a Brisbane City Council logo on it, so I'm assuming that it's the Roma Street Parklands people have put a new plaque uh, and thankfully it has reinstated the fact that the continuous division was a gift from Pacific Waste Management and that had not been shown uh, on a plaque for many a long year. It's a particularly stunning piece and I think Rule Hinwood's comments about it are particularly noteworthy. And on top of that, it's worth doing a brief scan around this beautiful piece to document its current condition, as I'm really hopeful that when the extension to the Roma Street Parklands is undertaken, this piece gets a far better location and profile. It's just a stunning day down here on the Gold Coast, 24th of September 2021. Unfortunately, John McGregor is a no-show. Uh, and so I'm starting here. I have the map and my mask and I'm ready. But how stunning is this new building at Hota, home of the arts down on the Gold Coast. Let's go see if we can find these Expo 88 sculptures. Here's looking at you, kid. Now our first stop is a Peter Cole work. And while this piece of sculpture was not made or exhibited uh, for or at Expo 88, uh, Peter Cole is one of the most significant contributors to the sculptural work of Expo 88. And this is a uh, very refined piece in comparison to Man and Matter. So let's just go on the other side. The sculpture is called View, and the sculpture itself has got a quite a good view of the Surface Paradise landscape. Took a few photos. I'll email those down to Peter Cole. I'm sure, he'll be interested to see how he's sculpture here being that it was a purpose driven acquisition by the friends of Hoja and let's move on I remember vividly the last time that John McGregor and I came down here to film and it was very windy and guess what today again it's very windy but what a beautiful backdrop. The sculpture, Mr. Nakamuchi sculpture, now has uh, with the new bridge, which is a, uh, a sculptural piece in its own right. So the sculpture's called Silent Prayer, and much the same as its counterpart in King Edward Park in Brisbane, uh, it is a World War II tribute to the bombing, atomic bombing, that occurred in Japan. Quite a beautiful piece. I think now it has more of a solemn outlook than what it did the last time. I'm fairly certain the lake wasn't in existence. Yeah, so quite stunning. One thing that I think the Gold Coast has done well is that it has kept these very colourful Borrowby 
characters from the 2018 Commonwealth Games. I think they really add a little bit of history and a little bit of legitimacy to this wonderful precinct. I should say thanks to John McGregor, however, because it is at his suggestion that I've come down to film and do a little bit of an update. So thanks, John. Hope you're feeling better. So there were only two female sculpturesses in the amazing art collection at World Expo 88, Inga King. And this is one of her pieces, although this was not at Expo 88. But as it happens, I've just realized that the name Morningstar is the same name as John Barlow Hudson used on his piece, which is now very prominently located in the city botanical gardens. I suspect at night time that this would be quite a stunning piece in its location in the central entrance foyer and uplit. Very powerfully by the look of it. Powerfully not as in watts, but powerfully as in artistic statement. So as we conclude, this is a Keith Armitage sculpture, not as famous as Brisbane's The Chair. However, I think it is more artistically attractive and I am really impressed by the location that it's been now positioned in. Previously, it was in an atrocious location. Uh, down here in the Gold Coast, but this is quite spectacular uh, and you can read into the artistic sculpture now many different meanings uh, from this quite spectacular location as you can see I hope so thank you and good afternoon